it's a red clay set with these incredible murals riding up and down the walls and, and this broken down kind of facade, you know, around us. But it's, it's, uh, it is my domain and over, it's Lechero's domain. And over time, we've managed to, to, uh, the guys return every day. We have the, the same guys who are, who are filling in as, as the inmates. And, and so there's a real, we're cooked now. Well, Lechero is, um, self-made man and he's managed to transform this this chaotic place into a place of some kind of order that he manages to run by sheer will and um, and his will is very strong it's very clear there are rewards and there's punishment that's it if you if you do the right thing you're rewarded but if you cross severe punishment and it's kind of Napoleonic that way you know and that's that's basically how how he manages to keep his charges under his thumb and um, he has ears and hands out everything then you add this the the wild cards that have just come in uh, Michael teabag and the rest and uh, now we have a whole new game and he's he has, he's not sure how he's going to deal with them because they're not they're not the typical prisoners in any shape or form so uh, so the game is up and it's a great chess game right now Lechero knows that Michael is brilliant, um, uh, that Michael has managed to do something that has never been done. And because of that, he can walk in and he walks in and could possibly upset the whole balance in this prison because of his achievement. He broke out of a major high security prison in the United States, unheard of. Teabag is amorphous. Teabag is an opportunist. But Michael is a visionary and you have to worry about a visionary. So he really sees that Michael, he has to keep under lock and key, but he knows at some point this kid has to use him or kill him.